everybody. How's it going today? We are playing Lycan. Going into the top lane. I, I picked Lycan because I didn't really know what else to grab. And I don't know. I just wanted something that's like a little bit aggressive. Lycan's fine. I feel like this Earthshaker. This is this really... Like this Earthshaker sums up how I feel about picking Lycan. It's just... This is pretty much it. This is pretty much the entire situation right there. <laughs> anyway. Grab this. Um, there's a windrunner. Oh, let's not get hit by that. Okay, we've got the. Ooh, that's so many heroes. Holy fucking shit. Alright, I'll be fine now. I can start healing already. Well, that wasn't great. Took quite a bit of damage there. I'm just gonna go and get myself some more tangles right away. Because we're gonna need them. <laughs> So Lycan has got really like one thing going for him in the early game, and that is Feral Impulse. Feral Impulse gives you a lot of health regeneration. Not like crazy amounts of health regen, but just like a really good amount. It also gives you a good amount of damage. Not like crazy amounts of damage, but just like a really good amount. And that's kind of it. <laughs> that's pretty much Lycan in a nutshell. You use Feral Impulse to stay in lane and farm up a little bit, and then after, you while, after a while you get your wolves going on and shit. And at that point your hero actually starts being reasonably powerful, but before that he's just kind of mega shit. And that's Lycan. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I can't punch that guy. That guy is uh, running out. Holy shit. Yes. That guy is all the way out of here. Let me grab all of this. You know, something that I found really interesting is I've been... So, I, I, I know I've talked about this a lot, but it's just like something that I found well, was an interesting discovery, kind of, to me. Um... I've been working on my, like, kind of weird little testing OAA version, right? And uh, as part of that, I am, I kind of put the restriction on myself of only having 20 heroes in the pool at all times, right? There's never going to be more than 20 because I want to have, like, I want, I want it to kind of be, like, similar to our, I want to test what it feels like to actually only have 20 heroes in a game like this, right? Like, we will have at the beginning of standalone, you know, during our early stages. So... That's what I want to test, and um, something I've noticed is while trying to create a balanced cast of heroes, I often end up with a, a kind of like a setup that is similar to 5 strength heroes, 5 agility heroes, and 10 intelligence heroes. And that kind of makes sense, like if you think about it, it's just kind of like, okay, so we've got, like strength is kind of like defensive, like hitting people, right, and then... And I know this isn't entirely accurate, right? But this is just like kind of like the concept. I just think it's interesting to think about. Um, but strength is kind of like defensive hitting people, and agility is kind of like offensive Sorry, hitting people. And then intelligence is kind of like all kinds of casting, right? And I've talked about about like adding charisma or will. I kind of like will um, as like a fourth Senior. attribute, having will. Um, and I'm just like, well, yeah. I mean, there's like really like intelligence is really just like both defensive and offensive casting, right? So it's both like being like a leaner and being a support. Doesn't really, there's really no differentiation there. So if you had will, you could have, you know, five day and five day, and then that would make sense. And that was just kind of like something I found was a little bit interesting, right? That doesn't mean that I've made any decision based on it. It's just something I've noticed that I found kind of neat. How that worked out, right? Because it really is, like, the more I try, like, every single, t every iteration I have had of my starting 20 is always very much, like, kind of, like, 5 strength, 5 agility, 10 intelligence. Every time. Um, you know, there's some variations on it. Like, sometimes I have, you know, I have, uh, what's it called, like, 6, six strength heroes and 4 agility heroes or only 9 intelligence heroes. But it's still always, like, pretty close to that mark of, like, 5, 5, 10. Which really makes me feel like there's something missing there. You know what I mean? Just just makes me feel like there's just it's just missing something. Alright. Trying to farm up with my walls. It's a struggle. Um would like Helm of the Dominator. And some boots. Alright. On the upside, we do have a good amount of health regeneration now. I'm surprised I didn't get that lasted. How did I not get that lasted? What? I've got Quelling Plate and I hit for like 80 damage already and I only did 60 to that creep? How does that add up? 
Okay, come here, Chris. Do we have anything? No. Okay, that's fine. Would really like it if I ever got to use the courier. That would be super cool. Thank you. I know that the mid needs stuff, but I need stuff too. I'm kind of running low on region, and I had a lot of region. You just need a lot of region in this lane, okay? There we go. Now I've got a good amount more. Will the game be free to play? Yes, yes, yes. Like, that's the one thing I can tell you about the business model guaranteed. It will be free to play. You're not gonna make a pay to play MOBA. Duh. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, come on. Nobody's gonna buy that shit. No, no, no. It'll be free to play. Alright, got myself my headdress going on, so that's good. Like, that's gonna help Frozen Knight as well. It's just, like, a good amount of healing in lane. You know, like, lanes kind of take a while. They're just slow. So you have time for something like a headdress to just, you know, have an impact and slowly heal you up long term. So that's good. And uh, once I actually have my Helm of the Dominator, I'll be in great shape. You know, just the uh, 7 health regeneration in the AoE. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. Let's take the rune and sure she doesn't get it. Okay, that's a kill, right? We've got the wolves. Come on, wolves, go get them, boys! <laughs> the boys are not getting that. <laughs> ah, they might actually. No, they're not getting him. That's alright, we got a kill though. I feel pretty good about that. I might just go to the shrine really quick. Because, like, the Mirana's back and she's full HP and I'm not anywhere near full HP. <laughs> I'm just really not even fucking close. Yes. And, um, and you really gotta skill the walls. You need that early power. Call to battle. Yeah. The wolf is a okay. We're starting to heal up enough to be fine here. Yeah, once you have Helm of the Dominator, it really starts being just easy peasy, but before that, it can be rough. On the upside, we did kill the Mirana, so I'm really happy about that. One of the things a lot of, I see a lot of people do is they underestimate how tanky this hero is. Because, like, seriously, um, Lycan is just disgustingly tanky. He can't just take so much fucking punishment. It's absurd. Okay, um... You know what would be neat if you kick him in here? It's just a suggestion. Ooh, Satsa's dead. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Luckily, Winter Wildman can't really do anything to me. Alright, we Gucci. We Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. So, all around, not the greatest outcome, I think. We don't want the... Uh, we don't want the Spectre to get anything, really. <laughs> like, the amount of money we want on the Spectre is none. Zero. Zero is the ideal amount. That's how much we want her to have. Nothing. Um, so, anything more than that is kind of a problem. Anyway, yeah, yeah now we look at, our, look at our health region here. Just, like, casual 14. Um, it's awesome. All right, now we can really just... Sit here forever. Alright. Yeah, they're still coming top though. So I think it's actually really interesting that they're trying to shut me down. It makes sense. Because Lycan is one of those heroes that can actually just run over a Spectre. So with Spectre, really the best course of action is to just win before she does anything. Right? Uh, you won't be able to beat her late game. Like, you just can't. I, I just... I actually think it's just impossible to beat a Spectre in the late game. Um, she is... Undoubtedly... I think we can just all agree that she's the best late game hero, right? Um, so... What... Do you do? <laughs> right? Like... <laughs> I think 
games past like 40 minutes or something, she has 85 to 90 percent win rate. Yeah, it's just absurd. So, what do you do? Well, you try to win before that, right? You try try to win before it gets to that point, and that's where Lycan comes in because you get yourself a necro book and just kind of snowball. And that's something very few heroes can do as well as Lycan can. A thing, winner in here. So. Anyway, on that note, Necrobook time. I'm gonna go fight for bottom wins. And we're gonna dominate ourselves to... Ooh, that's not great. Gonna dominate ourselves to Catapult. I don't have enough mana right now. Hmm. I have one more. I want to send my wolves in. Be a little bit annoying. All right, send the wolves out. Come back here, boys. Mm, okay, can you stop? Ow! Ah, crap! Wow. Okay. Well, we should be able to get that kill at least. Still have a wolf. <laughs> Let's go, boy. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that should be two more kills. So overall, we'll mark that down as a win. Yeah, it's just Shadow Shaman has a lot of disable. Those shackles. <laughs> Hard to deal with. Hard to deal with. Don't kill the cop. Oh. Alright, no catapult for five minutes. It's actually really important that you don't kill those. And again, 500 cooldown on it. It helps so much with pushing. Cannot really overstate just how good for pushing they are. No oh well. Divine play in action. Yeah, that's right, look at that. Can't trust these divine scrubs with anything anymore. Okay. I'm not a divine player at all. I'm immortal. So oh. That's better, of course. Uh, we run your spawn top. I'm a go bottom. Oh, that's bad. Mm. Oh, nice shackle. I should be fine. I don't know if that's a. Sorry, Satsa. Oh, no! No! Nail! Rude. Rude nail. Rude boy. Alright. Double kill. Yeah, I don't know. They commit so much into the top lane and then die. That seems to be kind of a common theme here. Works out for us. Alright, like getting those mega kills on the Ember Spirit. That's always good. It sucks a little bit for me though. I don't like being dead. <laughs> but that's alright. It's a little bit unfortunate as well because we do actually need farm. Alright, like we gotta get there quickly to get the Necro Book going. Once we start pushing, it kind of starts speeding up a lot. Um, I don't have ultimate. So I don't really know how much I can do. I have vision here. Yeah, that's too much. Let's say they have a ward over there. Soon we'll have our catapult. <laughs> Finn, I've been patiently waiting for the for the next catapult to spawn. So those things are so nice to have. Gotta make sure we get this one though. Back in the top lane. And can we go for the winter vibe? Probably not.
Oh god, not again. Oh, there's the Ember. Just sit here. Yeah. That's pretty much just a quick pickoff. I am this up top. Let's be a bit careful. Uh, if possible, could you let me have that one? Okay. I got it. Okay. It's just Necrobook one. Still a Necrobook though. I know there's a fight, but they'll be fine. <clears throat> they might not be fine. Oh, they are like super fine. They're fine. <laughs> Alright, they, they're like totally fine. <laughs> Alright. And this is where we can finally start being a Lycan. Right? Up to this point, we haven't even really played the hero. Now we start being Lycan. Now we start playing the hero. Because look at that. Look at this creep wave. Oh, yeah. Let's get the Necro book going. We've got even techies with a mine. Oh, yes. This is what I like to see. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Do that. Oh, crap. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I should have thrown like myself in front of that. Probably a wolf, honestly. That would have been the right response. Sacrifice a wolf. Get that. Okay, cool. Transform. Can I get this? Yeah. Um, which one is real? None of these, right? And we've got Necrobook too. <laughs> Look at how quick that is. Alright, time to go mid. <laughs> That's what I love, you know? I love it, love it when that happens. Because you you just go from having nothing to Necrobook 1 to Necrobook 3 to the game being over. Within like two minutes, right? <laughs> it's great. It's great. Alright. Time to push here. I'll just take this catapult. That way, nice. does less damage to us. Alright, Necrobook 2 is incoming. This is a dead tower. Well, I mean, I don't really have much choice now, do I? Oof, I fucked up. Or top there. Feels bad, man. Oh, there goes my. There goes my creep. <clears throat> okay, we'll get this too. Just wait, just waiting for my necro book again. And let's just summon it. Make sure we get this nice and clean. We don't want them fighting into us, and that's a necro book free. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh no, I love that snowballing effect. It like every time it happens, it just feels so good. And bottom lane, right? So after we've got bottom lane, our entire team is just going to be absurdly rich, and uh, we should be able to just go for the base. It's usually the next step. Some devolves again. Alright, there's a bit of a fight over there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My fucking god. They're fucking. They're scared, man. They're scared. Yeah. They're so scared. Oh. Yeah, I mean, cool. I guess it's just like. This is my official statement. Cool. Alright. 20 seconds on Necrobook. Time to push. Yeah, you didn't get anything there, but that's fine. I'm not gonna actually use my Necrobook here. I don't think it's necessary. We can use it for the base instead. Ember Spirit is coming back, I hope. I don't see the Remnant. Does he not have a Remnant down? 
really hope he has a run on Dom. I don't think he does. Wow, what a shackle, dude. What a shackle. Alright, I just gotta make sure my catapult survives. I can play aggressive with it, but I need to make sure it survives. Oh, nice! <laughs> Let's go, Techies, boys! Alright. Yeah, I got shackled to the Ember Spur, which is just very unfortunate. Alright. No. No. No! <gasps> what have I done? What have I done? It's okay. There's another one right here. <laughs> the walls. I mean, let's just take Rashawn really quick. Alright. This is just another another quick, easy kill, really. At least it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Whew. <sighs> Am I, am I gonna get any help here? No? Fuck. No, me and Sus were competing over a ward lost it. I mean, that's great, but like, I'm dying to Roshan. I really thought there was like backup coming, you know, considering they weren't that far away from us. <laughs> like, they were right around the corner. I don't know, I don't want. Why would you not want it? Please, give I me... I wanted to rely on Sutsa Poggers to save again. <laughs> He's already immortal. <laughs> good point, good point. Valid argument, well made. Alright, I got 40 seconds on Necrobug. Once that's ready, I'm totally good to just push. Quick and easy kill for it. Well, the, the thing is like... I really thought there was some backup coming, right? Like, you saw how quick and easy it was once there was backup. But if I'm just gonna be left on my own, then no, it's not that quick and it's not that easy. Okay. Should go Radiance? Yeah. Doesn't really have anything else, though, so that's good. Alright. Yeah, so this is where we need to start getting barracks. It's very important that we get them. Like, we can't just let this game... kind of fizzle out. Spectre will become too powerful. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I got one of them. I am trying. <laughs> Spectre's down, Minrunner's down. And there's the buyback. I mean, I could buy back, but I'm just too far away and my cooldowns aren't up. But the thing is, tower's down, that's important. We got a whole bunch of kills. Overall, that's still a win. That's still a win. I got the catapult still alive, too. I guess really the only thing that matters for me is that the catapult is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even a joke. Like the catapult is just so important. It's so much damage. Alright. I'm back alive. Yeah, again, like even if I had bought back, that wouldn't have made my Necrobook ready. You know, and I, I need that Necrobook. I think gotta be of cooldown. Alright. Okay, that's bad. Two free kills like that, we don't like seeing that. Shackles. 
Shackles, okay. I don't think I have enough here. Okay, there's the resurrection. Alright. Yeah, so the Spectre just being able to, like, get two kills with ultimate was really bad for us. That's the kind of thing we really can't have happen. What am I buying here? Do we have a pipe? No. Kind of wouldn't like a pipe. <laughs> kind of want some magic resistance. Alright, Windrunner down, that's good. And we also got a catapult wave in the mid. I mean, we pushed down top, so... Going mid now feels a little bit bad, but all right. You have stuff top as well. You can just go top. Okay. Let's get the range barracks really quick. Melee shouldn't be a problem either. Okay, mid. And I'm just gonna be doing this. That's okay. They're still dead. I'm just trying to get that damage in. Okay. This is where we transform, just so we have transformed. Makes it a little bit harder to do damage to us. And that's it. And I'm out. And there's a barracks at the bottom. No, I don't even care about her. There's the buyback. It's a barracks down. And that's Magus. Oh, I'm dead. I might not be dead. Alright. TP Master and all of that. Cool! And that's that's Magus. And that's that's Lycan. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's pretty much like it in a nutshell right there, you know. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, win one fight, get quick megas, win the video game. That's how you do things. Oh, nice shackles. I mean, I don't know if you can really get anything there. Ooh, that's risky. <laughs> Does that work? Can you slide the fist while you're a hero? Like, do you actually hit them? No, no I just tried because I didn't know. Yeah, didn't seem like it, but I wasn't sure. I think I, I don't do any damage, but I can still like frog mails. So right, get over here. Oh, they're in this. And yeah, we've got mega creeps coming in, right? So again, like that's kind of just the thing against Spectre. Like, don't let her get, don't don't let her come online. If you let her come online, you will lose. Pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> oh my lord. But if you Whoa, don't, gonna be naughty. you'll be fine. Oh I'm just... God, sometimes you gotta end the games really quickly. There you go. Ask LGD if Megas against Spec. It's a sure win. It's not a sure win, but it's, you know, a good starting point. Okay, cool. Alright. Y'all don't even need me. I did my thing. Like, that's the thing. You know, like, I, I did my thing. I did liken things. Y'all didn't pay attention and now the, now the base is dead. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not really supposed to do any of this other shit. <laughs> I don't care for any of this other nonsense. I just, the only thing I care about is this right here. And, uh, 
We got it. You catapult did your thing. It's true. We did get carried by the catapult. I, I, I do I do actually agree. Right, the catapult really pulled through for us right there. But if you just look at you know like building damage, right? Like hero damage, I didn't do any. <laughs> didn't do jack shit there. Don't have to. Don't have to. I did more building damage than the rest of the game combined. <laughs> So it's it's like totally Gucci. Like you don't have to do you don't have to low do a lot of hero damage when you do more he more building damage than literally everybody else in the game combined. So that's fine. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of liking if you did. Don't forget to do a rating on the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.